hello there welcome to my channel this is your girl danny b was good if this is your first time seeing my face get comfortable join the fan bam subscribe if this is not your first rodeo welcome back let's go all right so today i decided to just do this video it was just impromptu off the top of my head and i've just been having conversations lately with a lot of people about um just being basic and accepting mediocrity and just being okay with like the bare minimum and that bothers me so it's like um i've been just in my head again i'm always constantly thinking about things and how processes work and how other people make moves because when you make those moves and you decide to join an organization an established organization that's and for the most part, most of us are 100 years old. There's only two organizations that haven't reached it yet. So it's just like, how are you going to move that organization into the next level? Like, think about yourself before you even approach that organization. Are you looking good on paper and in person? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, like, if you gave me your resume, and your resume is like, whoo, oh, they killing it. But then I meet you in person and I see the exact opposite. It don't match. Like, you need to be the full package. And I'm saying this especially, specifically to grads. Like, undergrads, you know, for the most part, if you're a traditional undergrad, you know, you're still figuring stuff out. Not to say that they don't be coming with their A game, because there's a lot of undergrads that be right, ready. TTG. And it's a lot of grads that don't be. So I'm getting to try to understand why people seek out these organizations when they themselves aren't as polished on both ends. Like if you meet someone, you're expecting to meet the person that you see on that paper. And in my head, and I don't know about other people, but I've been on many hiring committees. Um, and I've had the pleasure of just, you know, getting to know people who are interested in certain organizations or employers or whatever may have you. And I like to see the person behind this paper. It's just like an interview. So why aren't you living up to that standard? And then it got me thinking, are they seeing people who are already members that look like this and they assume this is what we expect? Because I'm like, I don't know about nobody else. And I'm going to speak for me as a member of Zeta by Beta Sorority Incorporated. I always bring my A game. Whether I'm at work, whether I'm in a community, whether I'm at an organization. Like, it don't matter what it is. My resume is beautiful. But I'm even more awesome in person. So, like, it matches. And I don't understand why... Others, and I'm, again, specifically, I'm just talking about grad students right now and graduates who are seeking membership into one of these Divine Nine organizations. And you out here not looking apart. Like, they want quality. Let me back up. They want high-quality members. They don't need basic. Like, nobody wants the low-hanging fruit. And I don't understand why people in general want to be low-hanging fruit. Like, even when I try to be basic, I can't. Like, y'all, yeah, it be sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm going to just do the bare minimum. And my bare minimum don't look like bare minimum at all. It be, they like, this, this was your bare minimum? This was your basic? Um, okay, so what do your top of the line look like? And that is is the reaction you want to get out of people. So don't come looking a mess. Don't come assuming these organizations want people who, are, who don't know how to be polished. Because again, you are speaking for that organization. You are a walking billboard. If you get invited into that organization, you now become a billboard for that organization. So I know I have to do certain things in order to make sure my image stays where it should be because... I don't want people thinking any different about myself or my organization because of my image or my actions. So a lot of people 
take that to mean, oh, you're, you're controlling, oh, it's demonic. Uh, what are you talking about? That's basic business one-on-one. Like, you should always look the part. Like, even with people who own businesses, like, you, they carry themselves in such a different way. You can tell. Even with, I know when I was younger, I could tell when people went to college. It was just a way they carried themselves. Not to say college is the only way to make things do what they do, because it's not. But I'm speaking from my experience when I was younger, before somebody tried to attack me. I could tell people who went to college because they carried themselves a different way. They talked a different way. They behaved in manners that I was like, ooh, I see you and I like that. And that is what I aspired to be. And it's no different now. These organizations, which most of them were founded by undergrads, people matriculating through college who wanted to make a difference, who wanted to push change in their communities. And here we are a hundred years or more later and they need members who are going to be high quality, who are going to push them through, who look the part. Do y'all realize how hard it was for these youth, these young people to make these organizations to be taken serious? They had to look the part. They had to act a certain way. It's the same way with like, I remember when Obama was coming into office, people was like, where did they find this dude at? He had no type of bad things on his background or whatever. They were searching. Best thing they came up with was a birth certificate. Exactly. You don't need to be perfect, but you do need to be aware that people watch you. People are looking to see your moves. People are judging you and they're going to judge your organization off of what you do. So if you're thinking about coming to this organization and if you are the gatekeepers and you're thinking about bringing people in, don't bring them in because they're your friend. Bring them in because they look the part. They act the part and they are the part. They're the full package. We're not here to be finishing school. That ain't our job. We're not here to, okay, they have potential. Okay, well then potential over there in that community organization that's willing to let you do all that you want to do, looking like that. Let's be real. Let's call a spade a spade because we we go, we walk around these things. We act like your image doesn't matter. We act like what you do doesn't matter. All that stuff matters. Let's stop playing these games. Put your best foot forward. Don't be fake. Put your best foot forward. Look groomed. Ain't nobody saying you got to act like you got millionaire money. You ain't got to have no $500 t-shirt on. Nobody's saying that. Do something with your hair. Make sure your clothes are clean. Iron them. Smell good. I <laughs> I'm not saying anything new that you should not already be doing it. I'm telling y'all basic stuff that if you really want to be in these organizations, put your best foot forward because it's a lot of people that's really picky and it's some people that's really relaxed. And me, I'm big on image. I'm huge on image. I care about my image a lot and I will take feedback from my sorors. If I'm messing up, because you know what? It don't just affect me, it affect them too. So if you a gatekeeper, hold the keys to that gate tightly and don't let just anybody in because y'all cool, because you heard about them. No, let them in because they doing that work. They are the work and they look the part. Thank you for joining me with my TED Talk. Now we're going to call this my Danny talk. Okay. But anywho, if you agree with me, comment down below. If you don't agree with me, comment down below. I like healthy debates. We adults. Let's get through this. And if you took offense to anything I said, it might sound like you don't fit the role. So, I mean, let's just be real. If you out here looking all shabby and thinking they just need to take you because you're interested, no, nah, that ain't how it go. I mean, I know for my organization, we are by invitation only. So you don't just show up, hey, I want to join. Okay. That ain't how this work. This ain't that. You want in? Be on your A game. Look your best. Do whatever it is you need to do to exude that confidence on all levels. Paper, person, spirit. See y'all next time.